Good afternoon, sir. Davla. What's this all about, then? You know, like, Apple acquired, you know, Beats by Dre for, like, four billion quid. Indeed. I acquired broken cars. <laughs> <laughs> Make me Audis. Don't think it's kind of the same deal. No, so, uh, if you watch the update, you know. If you didn't watch the update, I'll catch you up. Right after this commercial break. So, we uh, got contacted by a guy who uh, had a running issue and then wanted to build an engine. So it's a 2010 TTRS with a five cylinder, 2.5 litre five cylinder iron block engine. So old Seeper engine. Um, so uh, the guys up at Slide Motorsport stripped it for him and sent the engine down. Met them guys actually, mint. So go and check them out. So they owned, I didn't even know that, they owned BDC for a while, British Drift Championship. Ah, of course. So they're the yeah. guy, they do loads of uh, like uh, S14, S15 chassis rebuilds and uh, Skylines and Supras and stuff like that. So that's really cool. I didn't even know I followed them because like all that sort of fabrication stuff is artwork to me. So go and check them out, Mint, right? Anyway, they sent the engine down. We got into it and turns out, car coming past you want to get in hang on we'll pause there so yeah the engine came down and we come up the spec with the owner um and life got in the way and he's pulled the plug on a project things going on at home budget that kind of thing so uh we come to agreement that we'd have a car for him so i now own this car now this is another rs you've had so we've had yes. a couple of rs6s yeah R8. R5, R8. Um, yeah, the R8 didn't really turn up on camera because we got it and it was just done so quick that we didn't really catch on anything. Got the golf to do and we've got this. So this is, like I suppose really, like builders being able to get all the cheap houses kind of thing. This is this is how it turns into us. So anyway, we'll go in a minute and we'll show you what we found with the engine. Um, but we're, we'll basically do like what we did with the RS5. We'll do uh, like a light resto on it and sell it on the golf's already pretty much gone and so is my rs6 to be fair we've just got some jobs to do on them big jobs but we've got some jobs to do on them. so i don't know whether us having them in bits and building them and the quality we sort of build them to puts people in a in a comfort zone almost like the rs5 like went out the door didn't it went yeah, so yeah. quick yeah. and to be fair for a car that had done a hundred thousand miles Mate, it was mint, wasn't it? It was mint. JM's just done a video on it, and he shows an engine bay shot, and it's immaculate. I kind of forgot how good a how good a condition we got that car to. Yeah. Um, so that that one came in the broken valve spring, and we just did um, we just did engine full engine rebuild on that because it had other issues and it was low on compression and stuff like that. So we just did full engine rebuild. So car turned up, loads of bits which are all on a trolley. So Callum had great fun sorting all that stuff out, but it had a Wagner intercooler on it. Um, and the core was shot. So Jay's had that off me, the guy with the gray RS3, and he's gonna harvest the end tanks because I think they're billet end tanks on that. Okay. Um, so he's gonna use that with his Garrett core. So I need a TTRS stock intercooler and crash bar because I don't have one. So the world of the tube, if anyone knows, not asking for a freebie, but I'm just looking for one. So let me know uh, because we're literally gonna rebuild this top to bottom, make it really nice uh, and move it on. Uh, I don't know the mileage, but we'll have a we'll dig into that when we know it. So this will eventually go for sale. It's a TTRS in mat in white manual uh, nav plus. Uh, it's got KW suspension on it. Um, obviously, 2.5 cylinder. We'll probably end up changing the tyres because it, it is on Cup Twos, but they look pretty spent. It's got latest spec wheels on it as well. They're and not. Do, uh, I, they're not the early ones, are they? No. They look like Mark Free wheels. They do, don't they? Yeah. So, I like putting stuff original. If anyone's got Mark II wheels that they want to swap for these, let me know. Um, so, yeah. I think other than that, it's pretty stock. I think other than that, it's pretty stock. It's just been outside for a while, so it's filthy dirty, and, yeah, needs a bit of love. Um, so it's come to the right place. Hopefully. Just got to get it done now. Engine stripped, so we're going to decide what to do with the engine because if I was going to build it, Larry, 
I've got rods and pistons for it. We go 83 mil bore and I put rods and pistons and valve chain in it. The problem then is all the money in those parts, it doesn't add the value. Yeah. Like say for example, this is a 15 grand car and you build a 10 grand engine. I can't sell it for 25 grand. So I think I'm just gonna do an absolutely bone stock build, really nice finish. Jordan obviously always gets his hands on it when he's done to build it back up. So let's go rummage through the trolley of stuff. Um, but I mean, if you stick your camera under there, mate, you can see what is. Hang on, let's just adjust. So there it just go. needs a bloody good clean. And a small matter of a, an engine. Yeah. So I think that's even stock downpipe in it. So I need stock in the cooler and crash bar. I've got a pipe across intake kit if anyone wants it. I got some forge boost hoses. They just need a clean. Yep, lovely. Um, what else I got? And forge ram air, uh, sorry, pipe across ram air pipe. So if anyone wants that and wants to give me their stock stuff, give me a shout, I'll be up for doing a swap. Um, I'm gonna have to message them because I can't find the ECU. So I'm gonna have to see if that's somewhere. I've also got a sax. <laughs> single mass yeah. and a clutch so again if anyone wants to do a swap I'll, I want a dual mass yep. uh, stock clutch and a stock pressure plate so I just want to put it all back to stock yep. so if anyone wants do a trade to do trade let me know cool um, yeah and then let's go and see what Carl has found Fucking dirty fingers yeah everything else headlights crash bar no, headlights, bar, yeah, I need a crash bar. Headlights, radiator, condensers, up on top and it, front bumper. So yeah, should be all right. This is a puzzle, this is what the RS5 was like. Do you remember I bought them bloody gearbox pipes and then we oh, found yeah. them in the corner? Yeah. But yeah. it's all good fun. Cheers, mate. So. Took the head off. It's a bit oily. So we'll get all the injectors tested anyway. But it's a bit oily, especially on f one or five, depending on which side of the world you're from. Uh, but that's pretty bad, that one. Yep. Um, so we'll strip the head. Uh, we'll cut the seats, put new valve stem seals on it. But when you kind of see that, you go, ah, something's not good. Carl flipped it over, dropped a sump off, and found... Hold that there a minute. Ew. Piston rings. Yes. Not good. Not good. Not not good. So, uh, and this is for why, Keats. Oh. I think there's a bit missing out of that, mate. I'm no expert. There's something missing. Yeah. Yes. So. It has left two grooves that you can feel down a bore, uh, sort of like at 10 and two in relation to the pin. So my conundrum now is three options. One, I put five grand's worth of rod and pistons in it, as in CPs, and I go to 83 mil bore. Um, which seems like a waste because it's stock turbo. Um, so it, it, I don't see the value it back in that. Um, I find a second hand block and I rebuild a stock engine with a second hand block. But the gamble with that is we were looking a minute ago, weren't we on eBay? And there's two or three engines on there which are not too bad. And then you get into them and they go, it's got this problem or it's a, got a knocking noise, it's got a runner, so I could end up in the same position I'm in now. Yep. Or I go and buy a brand new block and I put a bone stock block in it with no miles, use the crank, bearings, use the rods because they're fine, new set of bolts, new set of bearings, new crank, new pistons. And that'll be about 1500 quid cheaper than what putting CP stuff in it will be. Refresh the head, 
put it all back together with the missing bits and just build a really nice stock car. So why don't we get people to comment on what they think you should yeah. do? What should we do? Because if I build an absolutely baller TTRS, it ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. it like, unless someone out there wants a built engine TTRS. Or the other thing is, is a, is a shout. If anyone out there has got a 2.5 litre TTRS that wants a built engine and wants to do a swap deal, that's cool. Because awesome. I can put 83 mil bore on that, rods and pistons, and I've got valve train. So if then they want to do that, that might be a shout. What do you reckon, Carl? Okay, Obviously, no. it, won't be a square, it won't be a square, Auction. yeah, it won't be a straight swap, but we can do a deal we can do a deal. It just depends out there who's got a Seeper engine five banger. But that's the conundrum. So Today's conundrum. Yeah. Oh, Head just build it to a thousand horsepower. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love the immediate the no. <laughs> no. Nope, nope, nope. So okay. I've already bitten off more than I could chew on one project. I don't need another one. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know what you think, but that is a pretty big mess. It's weird as well, it's like folded it down. But, yeah, if you come around here, Dad. You've got a light, and you look up, it's up in it, it's this one. Stop. Like, you never know, apart, you can see two scuffs. Yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's not, hor for the damage on the piston, it's not horrific. No, I didn't expect to see a chunk out of You can see the cross hatching for it still, apart from the two stripes. You can mm. see the cross hatching where it's been. So, yeah, hasn't knocked the squirter off, hasn't done anything like that. The oil is stinking. Um, so, yeah, them's the choices really. I think dropping the CP stuff in it is out to go in that. I don't think that's a viable explanation. Find a second hand engine, a good one and then I can always build that as a proper engine and sell it. Buy a new block or do a swap with someone out there in YouTube land who wants a big engine in their five cylinder. So, hmm. And that'd obviously go in a, an 8P RS3 as well. Yeah, yeah. So, let us know what you think. And then in the meantime, we probably won't listen to any of that and come up with some crazy stupid idea and go the opposite way of what I've said <laughs> in all of that. So, yes. in the meantime, we're going to pull a crank so we can get the crank measured and cleaned, um, strip the head, get the head done, because I want to turn it around quite quick. So, let us know what you think, and we will go from there. Sounds like a plan. I think it's a plan. Is that a plan? Sounds good enough. Yeah. Are we being realistic or are we being miserable? Uh, we're always miserable, but right. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little bit realistic. A little bit realistic, yeah, yeah. 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 What was so, Cole's quote the other day? I'm not miserable. I'm, I'm, I'm a realist. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, covers everything, I think. I think so. I think so. I think so. So, yeah. Let us know. If anyone wants stuff of what we've got, reach out. There's swaps to be had, and I need to buy some bits. So, if you've got anything you think I need, let me know. Let me go from here. Good stuff. Sweet.